Hey, what is up everybody the Saints fan and welcome back to another GTA 5 video Today I have the long-awaited money guide for you guys I'm actually splitting this up into two parts So this one is going to be a higher level and then tomorrow I'm gonna do a lower level I'm assuming most of you guys are a pretty you know high level or at least have friends that you know Can get some of these missions that require you to be level 70 or 80 or so now before we get into the missions If you do enjoy this video and find it helpful I would appreciate if you left a like on this video. If we can get over 2,000 likes, that would be awesome. But anyway, getting that stuff out the way, getting into the money guide. So, first thing I just want to say, one rooftop rumble is probably still one of the best missions just because everybody knows how to do it. Everybody pretty much has it. And it still pays, you know, the highest amount with the greatest amount of RP. But I already did a video on that. I'll link that in the description. If you want to go check that one out, it still plays the same. And if you want to do it, you know, you can. But what I decided to do was to sort of give you guys newer missions. So you don't need to spam the same one that we've been spamming for like nine months now. The second thing I want to say is that Coveted is still pretty good just because you can get the playlist of it. I'm not sure if the missions that I show here you can get a playlist of. But I know you can get a playlist of Coveted, so uh, if you just want the easier route where you don't need to restart a mission or go into single or go into uh, back into free roam and go into the mission, uh, Coveted probably is still the way to go for that, even though it is a little bit longer and it does take a little bit more time. But with that out the way, the first mission that I'm gonna show you guys is probably one of the best ones to do solo, maybe because it is only a two-player mission, but it is a super simple mission, and it is called Defender. Now this one you get from Martin at rank 70 and it's not on your mission list at first so you're gonna have to call him to get this but what I want you guys in the comment section not even just for this mission for any of the missions I talk about if, if you do have them in your mission list then leave your gamer tag or your PSN ID in the comment section so people who don't have them in their player list can join your session get it in their player list and they can you know give everybody the chance to play these missions but this mission defender like I said is only a two player mission but really you can do this one solo basically all you need to do is get in the buzzard that it tells you to fly to the airport and then fly to Sandy Shores and I think there's about five or so helicopters that you have to take out while you're escorting this other guy in a helicopter but it is super simple and at the end you're gonna see although I get paid 34,000 that's obviously double the amount that you're gonna get paid because the first time you play any of these missions you get uh, double the amount you are gonna get paid so it's about 17,250 I think and as you can see you get 4,000 RP so a super simple mission that you get a lot of RP and you know a lot of money from that you can repeat over and over again the only downside is that it does take a little bit of time just to fly to the airport and then all the way to Sandy Shores because the guy that you're escorting decides that he just wants to go as slow as possible but it is an easy mission where you get a lot of RP and a lot of money and like I said this one is one of the easiest ones for doing it solo the next mission we have this one is called trash talk this one is also from Martin and this one you can actually have up to six players join. So uh, if you have a big team or a group of friends that you want to get a lot of money, this one is a perfect mission because it's super simple. Now this one, like I said, it's from Martin and you unlock it at rank 81. And I think this one should spawn on your mission list so you don't have to worry about calling Martin or getting into somebody else's session. But this one basically, you just need to take out a bunch of trash trucks. Now the best method to do this is to call up Pegasus and get a buzzard. Now, if you don't have a buzzard, I would highly recommend buying one just because for a lot of the missions, they make it super simple to complete. And the reason that is, is because obviously you can lock on to targets in the buzzard, so you can just lock on to the different trash trucks and then blow them up. And that's what you're gonna see me do in the game right now. Now, like I said, the more people you have, the better, because then you can get it done quicker. But this is another one that could be solo if you didn't have enough friends to play it. And I think all it costs is $200 to like actually call in the buzzard from Pegasus. So, you know, super simple, super cheap at least. The one thing you do have to watch out for at the end when it says the crew boss or the crew leader is leaving, make sure you don't blow him up because when we tried this the first time, we actually blew the guy up and it said mission failed. Not sure if that's a glitch or what, but the second time, uh, as you see, we decided to have some fun with it and chop them up with the blades. But, you know, if you want to, you can probably use the guns, the regular guns on the buzzard, or you can just get out and shoot them. Like, it's pretty simple because he just runs. He doesn't actually drive anywhere. 
So that's a pretty quick and simple mission. Again, that, this one is sort of a mix between solo and with a team. Now at the end, you're going to see this one, the money isn't as good as some of the other ones, but the RP is actually pretty high. We get 4,700 RP, which is a lot, but the money is only 15,000. I mean, obviously you're going to see me get 30,000, but just divide that by two, which is the amount you're going to get every time you play this. So this one, again, just some more variety that you can add to your list of missions that you're going to, you know, repeat over and over to get money. And then moving on into the last mission, we have Chopper Tail by Trevor. Now this mission is probably the best with a team because you do get a lot of money and a lot of RP and it's actually kind of fun. But the problem is you can't actually call Trevor in the game. So unless he randomly gives you the mission, then you're not actually going to get it. But again, that's why I said leave your comments or leave your gamer tags in the comment section below. So if you do have this mission or if somebody else has this mission, you guys can, you know, exchange gamer tags, join up so everybody can play this mission. Now, depending on where you start this mission at, the first thing you need to do is drive to the vantage point where there's a bunch of dune buggies there. Now, for me, because we were playing this mission a lot, it actually spawned me up here. Sometimes it'll spawn you like where you're actually at. If you just want to go in free room, go to this location where I'm at. It's up in Sandy Shores and start the mission there. So you don't need to drive all the way over here. You can do that as well. But the one thing I will tell you guys is only one person actually needs to get in the dune buggy. So what we decided to do to make this mission go faster is I have four friends and this method works with four friends. It works, you know, pretty good. It could work with three, but four is probably the best. So one of my friends called up a cargo Bob from Pegasus, which is only $200. And that is going to spawn at Sandy Shores airfield. Now where we actually have to go in this mission, you actually have to go through Sandy Shores airfield. So you're not going out of the way or anything. Now one other friend is going to get in the dune buggy just so it'll activate the rest of the mission and me and the fourth guy we are going to get in my car i just picked the zentorno you can use any fast car that you want to get over there quickly and once the guy gets in the dune buggy it'll say follow the helicopter now you don't actually need to follow the helicopter if you know where it's going to land which obviously i'm going to show you guys here in a second but it's basically the meth house i think it's called uh, from trevor which is a little bit to the west of sandy shores and once you drive over here, there's going to be a bunch of cop cars. So they're not actually going to shoot at you unless you shoot at them. So drive around to the back and make sure you don't actually park uh, where the helicopter is going to land. Just park where I kind of park, sort of a little bit away from the house. And then once you get out, start killing the cops. Now, by the time you get done killing the cops, your friend in the dune buggy should be here to help you. And then the guy with the cargo bob should be here to pick the uh, goods up that we're going to get. So basically, we're going to kill these cops, and uh, once you kill a certain amount, it actually says deliver the like the product or something, deliver the meth to, or back to Trevor, and the goods usually spawn in the truck that I'm going to get in right here, so kind of where you park at. So while your friend in the doom buggy and the fourth guy continues to kill the cops, go ahead and get in the car so you can drive it out so the cargo bob can pick you up now as you're gonna see it still says protect the meth lab but it doesn't even say deliver the goods yet because they haven't killed enough cops so once they kill enough cops then it'll actually say deliver it and by the time that happens we're already ready to deliver it back to trevor's house so that's why this is super convenient and super easy with four people now obviously you gotta make sure the guys that are shooting the cops don't die because if they die then that's gonna really suck for you guys then you have to drive back and kill the cops and it's just going to be a mess, so make sure you guys just be careful if you're killing the cops. But it should be pretty simple. You don't actually have to kill all of them. You just got to kill the ones around the house, and it should still go to the next part of the mission. But like I said, once we get to Trevor's house, then they finally kill enough cops, and it says deliver the equipment. And instead of us driving all the way from the house, we're already here to deliver the goods. And then we get a mission pass. We get 17,250 and 4,300 RP. So it's a really good mission with some friends, plus it's kind of fun. You know, the other missions, you basically just blow things up. If you want some action, uh, if you want some variety in your missions, then this one's a great one for you. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, tomorrow I'm going to do a lower level guide because I know some of you guys either just got the game or got a character band or something and you want to level up and you want to get some money quickly to buy some other ammo and some new stuff and everything. So definitely make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy. And as always, it's your boy Saints fan. I'm out. Peace.